So I did this collab with the lovely May Nail Designs and we decided to do a Mermaid Aquarium Fin Nail and I will be using today the Yoya Builder Gel from AliExpress but this one is from Wish. Yep, from Wish. IBD Intense Seal and now you can use my special code EV15 whenever you buy from Yoyaj. I'm really excited and I will put that link on the bottom. And these are Swarovski Pixie. Um, I think that's what they're called, Pixie Swarovskis and they're tiny little, little gems. So this gel is a very, very thick, very stringy. It does resemble the IBD Builder Gel. So if you're not used to the Builder Gels from IBD or from anything, then this this probably won't be for you but i really love the builder gels because it's it's just easy to work with so now we're just going to outline the fin with a little bit over here it is so stringy it could be used like a spider gel which is okay because you know we could draw with the spider gel but we're just going ahead and paint this with the gel to create our fin now you want to make this thin this is going to be thin anyway because it's laying flat but you just want to make your shape you don't have to make it my way you could do it whatever way you want but for me i'm just going to make a little fin using this cover paint from yoyage the builder gel and you want to do this thin because well i did this one thin only because I was making sure that it cured all the way because I didn't want the gel to leak out on my fingers when I went to go put this on the nail. But this did cure on my little 9-watt LED lamp really fast, so I think it did a great job of curing really fast. So I think my thickness was okay. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this up and then cure this under the lamp for about a minute. So after we cure this gel, then we want to come with the glitter. You can use any glitter, but since we're doing gold, May did a gold, so I wanted to do like a rose gold, pinky little rose gold, make it look cute and glittery. You could do anything, but I am sticking this glitter on top of the sticky layer of the gel because I did not wipe it off. And after I am done putting all the glitter that I want, then I'm going to come with the Yoyage Intense Seal top coat and I'm going to cover up that glitter and then cure this also under the little Madam Glam lamp for about 60 seconds. Making an aquarium nail, you want to make it with a flat tip first, that's going to be on the nail plate, and then a curved C curved tip, like for the tank. So you want to put that on top of the flat nail, making sure that you have just enough gap in between the two nails so you could create that little aquarium in there. Now you want to glue this down on the bottom over here. Now if you're going to do this with stilettos, that's how you'll do it with stilettos. If you're going to do this with a square, then you would just cut that tip off or whatever you choose. So we're going to wait till this dry and then we're going to come with the glue again and we're going to glue 
each every side we are using today the glue that i'm using is a glue resin so it's a very very thick gel resin so you want to file down the tips wherever the gel will be but i skipped that part because we're just going to be doing this on nuna so after we glued it down then you want to go with all the spots over here on the tip and on the sides with the gel and you want to make sure that you cure this really really good and make sure that you have all those air pockets everything covered or if not then the water will kind of it'll leak out of the um the little tank it's gonna leak anyway if you overfill it like i did but you don't want to like the water to come out from the tip it, when it's not you know covered up so make sure that when you do the first step make sure you glue it down all the way now i would have done this with poly gel but i already did a poly gel and i wanted this to be all about the yoyage you know builder gel so you could definitely fix this up with anything you have but this is just me doing this with the yoyage builder gel i cannot believe how good this builder gel works i really like this i love this color it is so pretty it's so vibrant like you would think it's a darker pink because it's in this big old you know jar but it is a really natural pink it's perfect i really like it uh i did buy the the clear and i bought the white and i will be doing a full review for you guys doing that but you just want to make sure that you cover every spot because this will leak through so after i build this whole entire nail over here i'm going to put this in my little lamp from madam glenn and now here's the process now i always do a drop of the liquid first you can use water you can use baby oil anything you have um, i heard baby oil makes the glitters move slower and i heard water makes it move faster so since i'm just doing a little demo over here i just chose water don't do this with water because the water will evaporate <laughs> just uh do this with oil or like a clear oil or maybe mineral oil and everything so I always put a drop of my water or mineral oil inside the tank so whenever I put the glitter, the glitter is literally not sticking all the way to the bottom. So you want to make sure you add something in there first before your glitter and that will prevent the glitter from sticking on the sides and getting stuck. So that's this is the messiest part of the whole thing. Just making sure that the glitter goes on that water and wiping down all that excess water because I got it all over the place. And fixing up my mistakes because I have a little air pocket that the water is coming out through and that's why I said you want to make sure that this stuff is nice and sealed through or else it's gonna come out through the sides which I just fixed it up and so we're just going ahead and patching it up with the gel and we're gonna keep doing this until we get our what we like what we are satisfied with until I get whatever I want <laughs> But I am going to be adding some glitter into the gel also. And I will be curing this again in my Madame Glam lamp. So now I'm covering this tank top up and uh, in the top of the tank, it sounded like I said a tank top, which I did <laughs> tank top, but I meant the top of the tank. You want to cover it up with the gel and this gel is very thick so it doesn't fall. You know, it won't leak inside that water or inside it, it's just going to stay on top of it. But make sure that you cover everything up. We don't want nothing leaking out. Nothing at all. Also, if you was to apply this on your natural nail, you would want to put a base gel underneath um, this tip. So you don't have to get like, you know, any water bacteria, which is called the greenies 
on the natural nail plate so if you was to put this on the nail plate make sure you cover that natural nail plate up with acrylic or your base gel or a thin coat of the um, builder gel before you even apply any of this on or else you are going to get that green little bacteria and I don't know how to pronounce it but we call it the greenies and that will leave like a green stain on your nail which is ugly and not very nice to have so you just always want to make sure that you cover this really really good now I'm taking the clear also from Yoyage I did not get to show you guys that because I left that part out but it is the clear builder gel from Yoyage I'm loving this brand so much oh my lord and we're doing the same thing I said just covering everything up everything So now that it's cured, we are coming with our file and we're not doing this hard. I am, you know, I sped up the process and made it look like I'm doing this hard, but I'm not. You just want to tickle the top. You don't want to file too hard because then it's just going to, you know, file too much off and then you're going to have that. It's going to leak again. So make sure that you don't file that much off, but you just want to make it to where it's smooth and not too much file work just get your buffer and make it to where it's smooth and then clean off the surface with your alcohol pad and come with your gel top coat and cure this again under the little nail So my fin is done and I did apply a gel top coat on top of the glitter and it is nice and flexible so now we're going to come with our scissors and we're just going to shape that fin however way we want. You could do any, anything you want. You don't have to make it to look like a fin like mine. You can make it look like yours. So I like mine to be like, like a real fin. So I am cutting the bottom of it to make it look like she has little ridges. I come with my file and my e-file and I do shape the bottom of the nail fin and then we will glue this on. I'm gluing this first with my glue resin and I'm going to put this on the bottom of the fin right here pushing my finger on the back and then I'm coming with the Yoyage clear Biller gel and I'm going around it and I'm actually capping it like I'm covering the whole thing the whole entire thing to make sure that that fin does not pop off this builder gel is really thick so a little goes a long way but you don't want to put a lot because then it will be too bulky so then we're gonna cure this on this lamp and we're gonna wipe off that sticky layer and then we will build on we're gonna, so we're just building on wiping off make sure everything is done so you see and now I'm coming with my file my e-file and I am using a 240 sanding band and this one is from the McCart I did a haul showing this these are my favorite ones to use on a natural nail plate because it doesn't damage. It's kind of equivalent to an actual nail file. If you don't trust an e-file, then you could come with your file and you could also your hand file. You could also do this, but this is a lot faster for me. So I'm going ahead and crisping up that fin with my sanding band and then coming on the bottom also and 
making that look like a little fin. I'm using Swarovski Pixie Crystals today and I'm going to use this glue resin and I'm putting it on top of it. I love these Swarovski little pixies. You guys, I found this on a store a long time ago and I just can't remember. But they had a big old case and it was like $50 for it and I was so mad that I paid so much because then one of my subscribers told me about a store in AliExpress years ago and that's where I've been getting mine from AliExpress so it was only like five dollars for this bag and I'm not gonna lie it, it is pretty and I like it way better <laughs> and I mean I bought like I think I only have one bag left which I would need to get more so this glue resin is from just a regular glue resin you could buy this on eBay this one was five dollars because it's a big bottle um, but this also comes in a kit from the model model ones this one is from the model ones so if you can't find it on ebay then you could find it on the on amazon under model ones and i'm not really sure they still have it i'm not sure it was part of their dip powder kit which i don't even know if they have anymore i don't know so we're just coming here and just putting some rhinestones on and what am i saying <laughs> these aren't rhinestones honey <laughs> they're sarasi <laughs> so we're coming with our sarasi crystals our sarasi crystals and we're just you know coming with the glue resin our little gold decal shells these are from aliexpress also so now we're going with the same glue resin and we're going to pour our little Swarovski pixies on this fin and i'm really i'm really cheap with these because i don't have any more i think this is like the last bag i have so you want to make sure that you don't waste don't waste you will regret it this is so beautiful so we just want to fill that up and after i'm done filling that up i'm going to wait till it dries a little bit and then i'm going to add more of that top coat glue resin on top of the tail This is what it looks like when it's all done. I hope you guys all like it. And don't forget to watch May Nail Designs. I put her YouTube information on the bottom. I hope you guys like. Thumbs up if you do. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.